Okay everyone, and we are back with another tutorial today, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a little logo slash intro type of thing. Uh, I got a personal request for this on Kick, and I'm just going to do this now. Here's what it looks like. Well, this is an example. Oh, yes, Step right into it, open up After Effects, um, add, add new composition, all that good stuff. We're gonna make this this composition small. Because I'm not gonna be doing any big editing on this composition. So here we got our composition, so we have our black background already. Unless you wanna add a solid in which you can, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm kind of lazy. But um so we're just gonna add our text here. So I'm going to should I type. Uh, I'm just gonna put a. So make this bigger. All right. And move this out of the screen. Oops. Move. I'm gonna move it up there. This isn't going to be more than um, about six seconds. So I'll just cut this off. Alright, so I'm going to add an A. I'm making the size and everything the same, so it looks better. It's a little strange having different size letters. It looks kind of ugly. So, text. Add the final D. Uh, Alright, so we got all that. So we're not gonna. We're, all we have to do really is just make the text kind of fly into each other, kind of like how it did in the. So, oops. Um, we're gonna go back in here. So, I'm going to make this a. Uh, we'll close this layer. Make this a come down. It's kind of ugly right now, but we're gonna, we're gonna fix that soon enough. Um, so we're just gonna take this other D after, as the A is coming through, it's gonna, it's gonna start coming in. ease all of these so you know to make them smooth we've been over this keep them just make easy all right so what I'm going to do here is drag oops uh separate dimensions all right now we're only working with the y position so that's the only one we're gonna grab Pull this out. 
this out all the way. And pull this down all the way. Wait, no, not all the way. Oh, we got it all the way. Yeah. It's kind of better with motion blur. Let's play it back. Ah, it still kind of looks ugly. Hold on. Let me fix that. It's a little too. Yeah. Let's do it this way. This should look better. Alright. I'm not going to spend too much time. It, it, it looks the way. As close as I want it to be. If I was actually doing this, I'd make it far more smooth than that, but this is just a demonstration. So, I'm just going to do the same with this one. Drag this one all the way out here. Uh, keep that one right there. Oh my god, that looks... see this, that bothers me. So, what I'm going to do, that there. There we go. And put motion blur on that layer. Makes it look better. Just like that. Okay. And now what we're going to do is just quite literally slap, slap these two into each other. So, um, let's see. I'm going to go some keyframes back, and I'm going to make a new X rotation. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to make that go towards that. A little bit of rotation. Um, I'm going to do the same for bottom, or the A, my mistake. Easy ease the rotation and gotta do gotta redo the graph editor for the X X position. So yep, that's I'm going wait, I'm going to Same to the rotation. Okay, mm -hmm. just going to do the same for the D. Now I'm going to speed up this part because it's literally the same thing. So. Okay, so now that we're done with that, all we're going to do, they, they basically, hmm, I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm going to give it one more frame. Okay, 
Okay, so basically now that we got all those keyframes, I don't even know why I added this uh, extra D right here. Never even use that. So I close out these. Make a new text layer. And write the actual full word. And now we're gonna make this scale. the size the same, the scale. So five seven. So this this looks extremely bad. So we're just gonna do a couple of things to make it look better. So I'm going to add an adjustment adjustment layer. Yeah, I'll just leave that be. And add. Um, I'm gonna add a shake to it. Uh, I'm just gonna use uh, sapphire shakes because I'm. I'm not gonna use my other shakes for this, it's gonna look a little wonky-ish. So. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're gonna turn reflect off. Then at the end, I'm gonna split it at the end of that shake and make another shake, which is kind of just a slow one. You know what? How about I not do any of that? So I'm just going to leave that that way. Yep. And uh, and you can kind of see how it's how those are close together. And I know. You know, it doesn't look right to just... So I'm going to add brightness and contrast to this as well. to add a little energy-ish type of a thing behind this one. I'm just going to add this beh uh, behind that just for Let me push this over some. And you can find this overlay anywhere on YouTube, so just find it. Um, I'm gonna change the color of this. so the explosion is kind of faster.
that really bothers me. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm good. I, I have to add another shaky. Not my best, I wouldn't really, you know, I mean, just a demonstration, but, yeah. This is basically the gist of it. You can add whatever you would like to this, make the shapes better, or something like that, because I really don't like the way this turned out, but it's just for the sake of this tutorial, so I hope this helped you all, and if you liked it, please hit that like and subscribe button and leave any requests or comments down below. Thank you all. I'll see y'all later.